Homo erectus, Latin for upright man, was the first hominid to hunt and craft tools that it directly relied on for survival. But they were not the first hominid to use basic tools. Homo habilis, a precursor to Homo erectus, had been creating basic, one-sided stone hand axes in what is known as the Oldowan tradition, or style, for around a million years before the advent of Homo erectus. However, the most groundbreaking development in Homo erectus tool use was the jump from the older one tradition of tool crafting to the Acheulean tradition of tool crafting. This advancement in technology began 1.8 million years ago and concluded around 1.5 million years ago, a time span of about 300,000 years, with the oldest known Acheulean tools having been found in East Africa. But what does this mean? Basically, rather than hard percussion shipping a volcanic rock with another stone, Homo erectus refined the older one technique to use soft percussion shipping, uh, using bone or hardwood to chip stones rather than another stone. This fine control allowed them to create bifaced, as in two-sided, oval stone hand axes with relative ease. It is likely these Acheulean tradition hand axes actually served multiple purposes, from cutting to digging to butchering animals and cracking hard nuts. But that's not to say that Homo erectus only used these axes. Other known tools included choppers, cleavers, and hammers, according to a webpage hosted by Palomar College. Today, we can use the distribution of Acheulean tools as a marker of when new technologies arrived to different Homo erectus populations. By 1.4 million years ago, these advanced tools had spread to what is now Israel and Western Asia. Between 900,000 and 500,000 years ago, Acheulean tools had arrived in Europe, and around 800,000 years ago, they had arrived in China. This effectively covers the entire known Homo erectus range. Another core facet of known Homo erectus culture is the use of fire. A notable example is the Zhou Kodian site in northern China, where there are caves that contain Homo erectus remains, as well as stone, charred animal bones, collections of seeds, and what appear to be ancient hearths and charcoal. This site is dated to between 700,000 and 400,000 years ago, long after the Acheulean tradition of tool making had already reached China. Although this site is known for its impressive amount of remains, the oldest fire sites would either be in Kubi Fora, Kenya, dated to about 1.6 million years ago, although this is contested whether or not it is controlled fire, or in Gesher Benot Yaakov in Israel around 800,000 years ago, which is suggested to be a more controlled uh, fire pit. After 400,000 years ago, fire becomes more common in Homo erectus sites. Take Beach's Pit, a 400,000 year old site in eastern England, which has various traces of fire suggesting that large hearths were maintained by the site of a tree. To return to Zhou Kodian, those caves have notable examples of what we can infer to be cooked meat. The charred animal bones present indicate that animal remains were put over a fire. This also indicates a relaxation in the selective pressure around larger tooth size, a defining difference between Homo erectus and Homo sapiens happens to be the size of their teeth. It also indicates that Homo erectus, at this site and others that contain evidence of fire, were increasing their caloric intake, a development that uh, eventually led to increased cranial capacity and improved brain function in modern humans. Now, one final interesting fact about Homo erectus culture is that they may have been the first hominins to create art. At the Trinil site in Java, Indonesia, an engraved shell was discovered, dated to between 430 and 540,000 years ago. It may be the oldest instance of geometric engravings, or art in general, known to humans. <laughs>